Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with the latest version of Taylor's 512 CE guitar. The uh, 512 uh, model has been in Taylor's lineup for a long time. Um, I believe it was one of the first uh, grand concerts that the company introduced way back in 1984. And as such, it's gone through a lot of different changes over the years. It's always had the uh, grand concert body, of course. It's always had mahogany back and sides. Um, that's part of the 500 series uh, specs. And it's always had sort of mid-level appointments. And the same is true uh, for, for this very latest version um, but uh, the big news this year with all the grand concerts is that now they have v-class bracing so this 512 CE has the original Taylor Grand Concert design with the 14 fret neck and the solid peg head. Uh, there are now some uh, Taylor Grand Concert models that have a 12 fret neck and a slotted peg head. But this one is more of the original design, uh, even though it does have the short scale. So that's uh, 24 and 7 8 inches, makes the guitar really nice and easy to play. And the current version of this guitar has a cedar top. It's a western red cedar top. 512s have, over the years, come with spruce tops um, as well as with cedar tops and uh, for now cedar is what Taylor has settled on combined with the tropical mahogany back and sides and what that really does it's almost like a, uh, a slightly smaller version of the very popular Taylor 514 which is the grand auditorium size that a lot of fingerstyle players really like that also has the tropical mahogany and western red cedar top this guitar to me serves a lot of the uh, same kind of functions that the 514 has become so popular for it's got uh, it's a wonderful fingerstyle guitar as you heard me playing it earlier uh, super responsive and just, uh, uh, just a great tone, really uh, light response and, and quick touch. Um, but it's much more comfortable to hold and the shorter scale, of course, uh, makes it a bit easier to play. Um, so let's take a little closer look at what else this guitar has to offer. So the guitar has standard 500 series uh, appointments and specs. It's got the uh, tortoiseshell style uh, binding on both the top and the back of the body. Uh, it has a simple rosette. It's got the uh, typical Taylor pickguard. Um, nice inlay in the uh, fingerboard as position markers as well as here in the peghead uh, in the ebony overlay. Um, the uh, bridge and fingerboard are made out of ebony and um, the guitar has uh, the uh, uh, chrome uh, enclosed tuners on the peghead. So I mentioned that the uh, big update for this year is the V-class bracing um, and that um, does differentiate it from earlier versions of this guitar, even though they might look very similar on the outside. If you're checking out some tailors in a store and you're wondering whether they have the new V-Class bracing or the older X bracing, you can always take a look at the nut. Uh, the older X brace guitars had a white nut and the new V-Class uh, guitars have a black nut. You can also take a look at the label. The newer V-Class guitars have uh, an Andy Powers uh, theme signature label on the inside. And Andy Powers is, of course, Taylor's designer who is responsible for the new V-Class design bracing. So the 512C is definitely a great fingerstyle guitar. I love how responsive it is and just feels um, really balanced and it's a lot of fun to play fingerstyle guitar on. And uh, when, I, when you heard me play it earlier, I was in a low C tuning and um, I was very impressed with even with a shorter scale how the guitar handled uh, those kind of looser strings that you get when you're tuning down that way. Um, I'm back in standard uh, tuning now and uh, a lot of people have always liked the Taylor Grand Concerts for more of an accompaniment role too, playing with a pick, with a um, you're accompanying your own vocals or you're playing it uh, in a group and uh, this guitar really is no exception to that and of course the uh, mahogany back and sides kind of give it a nice clarity that will help uh, kind of um, cut through a mix or be, be heard well uh, within the context of other instruments as well so let me show you what it sounds like if I'm strumming it a little bit as well
So very nice, rich sound uh, played that way too. So you get a lot of versatility out of these uh, Taylor Grand Concert size guitars. And I think this one is a particularly fine example um, of uh, sort of the, the, the range of sounds you can get out of these guitars. Of course, the guitar includes Taylor's ES2 electronics, um, which have the uh, proprietary ES2 pickups uh, behind the saddle. There's three pickup elements mounted right there. You have controls on board for volume and tone. And uh, let me show you what those sound like plugged into a Fishman Loudbox mini amplifier. So really great amplified sound as well. Um, nice balance. There's never an issue with uh, string imbalances uh, with the ES2 system. And I find that it really does reproduce uh, the acoustic voice of, uh, of the guitars uh, very well. So the 512 CE is definitely a very versatile guitar. It really excels uh, at playing finger style, but it's uh, definitely not limited to that. Um, makes a great accompaniment guitar as well, uh, wonderful for strumming. Um, and the ES2 pickup uh, gives it great versatility in a amplified uh, setting. Um, definitely one of the better onboard uh, electronics available, and uh, they come stock on this particular guitar. So check them out at your local Taylor dealer, and uh, please come back here to Peg Nation for more of our gear demos. My name is Taylor Gurken.